The Harsh Mariners of Indies, the same Katua Killers by a score of 11 to 3 back at Lowell Park yesterday. And Logan trying to make it back to back games against the Killers and win the season series by a, a score of 3 to 1. Welcome back inside. Mariners Mini here on the pregame edition. I'm Thomas Rizzo along with my broadcasting partner, Austin Rooney. And Austin, yesterday was, was a big day for the bats and also the pitching as well. Well, Masson really pitched a great game against Katua. What are your thoughts on, on both uh, Masson and the offense? So let's start with the offense. And the offense looked great in three specific innings. They were able to put up multiple runs on the board. Starting in the first inning, they had three runs on the board. That got them off to a really nice start. It gave Matheson a little bit of breathing room as he got out onto the mound. And then in the uh, top of the third inning, the Mariners added two additional runs, and that gave him that much more breathing room to work with. And then after the fourth inning, the Mariners blew the doors wide open with a six spot, and it was just hit after hit after hit. Six consecutive hits in the top of the fourth inning. And it's good to see the Harwich Mariners start to put together some rallies with runners in scoring position, and that's exactly what they did in that fourth inning and at that point in the game the Mariners had sealed the deal and then as far as the pitching goes you mentioned Will Matheson another really solid uh, start from him five innings of work shutout ball he allowed I think six hits and a couple of walks there were a couple of jams he found himself in but by and large it was a really good performance from Will Matheson. Uh, Matheson pitched really well yesterday and Thompson Taylor will do the same here today he's the starter but against Zane Collins so much we expect from both these starters this evening. So let's start with Tom Sutera, and Sutera has been the workhorse for the Harwich Mariners all year long. His last time out was versus Brewster, four and a third innings of work. It was a relief appearance, and he pitched really, really, really well in that relief appearance, uh, and he ended up uh, going all the way into the 11th inning. Uh, so it was actually a start. Uh, after, uh, following the start, he, he went into the 11th inning. The Mariners ended up losing that game, but he pitched quite well. Uh, so the Harwich Mariners will turn to him again, this time in a starting role. He's been usually in that relief role, so we'll have to see how he can do in that starting role. This is just his second start on the season. As far as Ian Collins goes, he's making his third start on the season. Most of the time, he's been in a relief role. He's been better in the starting role than he has in the relief role. In two starts, he's pitched nine innings, allowed just three runs. In uh, six relief appearances, he has an ERA over nine. So you're talking about both starting pitchers this evening. Big game for both sides as Katuit is in fourth place right now in the Western Division. Only up a couple points on fifth place board. And in the East, the Harsh Mariners look to try to make a jump spot ahead of Chatham. Only three points behind Chatham for the number two spot. And they're a couple points ahead of all wings of the four spots. So really Harsh from trying to solidify their place in the playoffs as August is coming right around the corner. And for game today, what do you think the Mariners need to do to win this ball game? So again, it's about putting runs on the board and it's about hitting with runners in scoring position. They managed to do it yesterday with that big fourth inning, hit with runners in scoring position, also get those extra base hits. The Mariners are at first in the league in doubles and it's by a pretty wide margin at this point. So either they have to find a way to drive guys in from first base with doubles or hit with runners in scoring position. It's gonna be a lot easier to do the latter there and just get singles with guys on second and third base. And so hopefully the Mariners will continue to hit with runners in scoring position and that will be, that will allow them to get some breathing room for their pitching staff and allow them to you know, win some higher scoring games. Now you mentioned runners in scoring position. Katua left 11 guys on yesterday. Howard only five. So that was a big uh, difference maker in yesterday's ball game. They tried to do it again today. So that'll do it for us here in the pregame show on Mariners Minute. I'm Thomas Sensor along with my broadcasting partner, Austin Rooney, as Tom Sutera will take him out against St. Collins' first pitch at 6.30. Stay tuned.